everyone and welcome back. So, I have to share with you really quick. I just recorded this whole entire episode. 55 minutes and 6 seconds. And it was messed up. It was totally messed up and I'm so annoyed right now. It was such a good episode. So I have to apologize. I kind of know what is going to happen. Um... Yeah, I kind of know already what the road ahead will bring. However, I'm not going to do one of the things that I did in order to speed it along just for myself. I'm not going to tell you what it was, but we're going to go to Falkreath and talk to Marcus. And uh, we're going to see what he says. We're going to tell him that, uh, oh god. Another thing I learned from practicing is... No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Run, 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 run! Is that everything is super dangerous! Everything is super freaking dangerous! Okay, that's a regular wolf. I may have been slightly overreacting, but... Uh... I told you already about the new mod I installed, the high level enemies mod. Well, it also adds high level wolves. And, um, it levels the bandits up quite a bit. So, I was horribly killed by a wolf in the time that didn't happen. The time that never will be seen ever. I got killed by a savage wolf. So, I am now aware that I need to be extremely careful. That will be one difference. I now know that. Um, hello? Yard the Raven. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? No. I am the Dragonborn and I will shout you into oblivion. I don't have to take that from you. Oh, okay. I was expecting you to be afraid of me, but uh I guess that works. I've come here. Fine. Um I regret everything right now. Okay, there's a problem with my new binding things. <laughs> there is a problem because if I hold Alt to sprint, I also accidentally cast my Love Your Friends hotkey. Oh! You are quite tough, lady. Oh, I'm shooting you with Frost and you're ignored. That's a bad idea. There we go, that's better. There we go. Uh, she was she was pretty high level though. Yeah. How many ingots? I'll take it. Thank you, thank you so much for that. So yeah, everything is incredibly dangerous, and uh, I will be dying a lot more often. <laughs> and so hopefully you guys don't care about that, but it's gonna happen um, because are you people? A skeever king! See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Oh god! Oh god! Okay! I'm running from a skeever right now, everyone. I'm running from a freaking skeever. Skeever! Get out of here, skeever! Oh god, it's gonna kill me! It killed me! I died from a skeever! I was skeevered! Right, so... That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> so... What this means is Ruby is going to have to be extremely careful. And I'm going to use a lot of my spells. Um, I, d I was not expecting a Skeever King. He was not there before. I think he was in the place where the Savage Wolf was. And uh, I have to say, that was ridiculous. Not gonna lie. I can't believe I just died to a Skeever. But he was the king of Skeevers. So I guess he does deserve some respect in that regard. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. Now- Okay. Now there are wolves. Okay, stop it, game. Stop messing with me. This is serious. Are you- Okay, you're just a regular wolf. It's fine. Good. More? No. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Refugee. Refugee. Stop running into me, ice dudes! 
Okay, let's go this way and uh, see if we run into the Skeever King again. I would like to fight him. Uh, but I don't- I don't want to fight him at the same time. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna be dying a lot more, so I'm gonna be saving a lot more, so you're gonna see a lot more of the little five long seconds pausing, or however long it takes me to save my game. Um, we'll see more of that, so sorry about that, but it's- it's gonna be kind of exciting. We'll see how it goes. If it's too obnoxious, then... I will change it. Hello, orc. I'm not gonna talk to you. I, I apparently I haven't killed that uh, Nord because he was now she was replaced by an orc who is who I'm not gonna talk to. So yeah, you get the idea, right? It's gonna be really hard. But at least it will allow me to use all my spells. And hello, Skeever King. Hello there. Okay, so, Skeever King. I wish I had some awesome curses or something to put on you, but I really don't. Am I not wearing my hat right now? I am not wearing my hat right now. That is so silly of me. And why am I wearing, no, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the right, okay, it's fine. So, I need to pick stuff. How about bears? Bears do more damage than ice guys. Alright, Skeever. You're in for it now, Mr. Skeever. Alright. We should be okay now. There we go. All I need is someone to tank for me, and then I'm good. <laughs> Which is obviously a problem because that's, you know, I mean, that's why I have my summons. And here we have a bunch of bandits. Um, which I do know are archers. Hello! And they are going to shoot me and probably kill me. In fact, I'm going to save right here. Because I probably am going to die unless I get really lucky. Because last time, uh, I died quite quickly. Okay, that was my ring just proccing right there, and that's why I didn't take any damage. That would have killed me. Um. Let's do... oops. Okay, where are ya? Okay, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, he's doing... oh! What the heck? Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Orc. I appreciate it. End this little game. Alright. Stop attacking the tanning rack. What did it ever do to you, man? Okay, that was a little old man. Uh, thank you very much. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Sorry. That's I... right. Okay. Awesome outfit, by the way. Right. Okay. That went relatively well, but I think there's more bandits than that. At least there was last time. And I am very paranoid about it. Hello? Um. Oh, right. Traps. Okay. Traps. It's fine. Run! Run! Okay. Good. I learned detect life cantrip. Great. Alright, I think we're good. Apparently there was only two bandits that time, so that's fine. 
Oh god. Okay. It is ex it is a lot more exciting. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's the wrong way. Where's where's the town? There it is. Okay. All right. Here's Fulgrith. I'm gonna go talk to Sidgear before I go into the inn to find Marcus because I do have a thing to turn into him, and I'm going to turn off Thorns Embrace again. Hello, everyone. Sidgear. Game, stop it. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. I killed the leader in Vile Gulch Mine a long time ago. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Okay, cool. Is there anything else you need, sir? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. Sure. On your way, then. I will help your Come people... Come and see me again sometime. ...when I have I time. have some use for you. Until then, I have other things to do. Oh, it is raining now. All right. Okay, let's go in here and find Marcus. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Who's this guy? Oh, Lady Carmella? Speak quickly. Who are you? Speak quickly. Are you a Thalmor? You want something from me? You sound oh, like a Thalmor. A oh, God. You're a Thalmor. Oh, I hate you so much. Okay. Uh. Marcus! I always heard the legends in my childhood, but I always thought they were fairy tales. But they're true. Yes, they are true. I talked to Val. He agreed to meet with you. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go, but there's... Just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. Well, at least by myself, that is. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me into the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Ah, uh, sure, let's go. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. You shouldn't say shite, it doesn't match your accent. What is my game doing? Seriously. I stutter like every two seconds in here. Who are you? Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. Oh, you're the dude I saved. Right, right, okay. Hi. Let's go. Okay, Marcus. I guess we're going to travel in the rain and, uh... It shouldn't be very exciting because I've already killed the things that are on the way, so... Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad of a journey. We might run into some King Skeevers, and if we do, just get ready and put your shield up because they bite pretty hard. I'm also pretty sure you can get a disease from them, which is not fun either. What have we here? Well now... I think that is Thalmor attacking Stormcloaks. It is! Hang on, Marcus, hang on. No, 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 that's the wrong button! Why isn't one working? Why isn't one working? Why did I switch that to one? What the heck? Okay, that was that was a mistake. Snow bears. Oh god, Marcus, don't die. Um Okay, 
We're good. Let's just wait for this one to get up. Here it comes, here it comes. think it concerns me now I just saved your ass. Jeez, ungrateful jerk. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Balmore. Good times. Shut up. Don't make me kill you, dude. Alright, this stuff is worth selling. Kind of. Come on, Marcus. I think I have armored ascension on right now. Yeah, I can take that off. I did not mean to change that to number one. I don't know how I did that at all. Uh, oh, let's summon a Daedroth. I forgot. I want to try doing this. Whoa. Hello. Um, hi. Hello. Uh, I don't know what I think about that. Um, are you, how strong are you? Are you strong? Are you gonna betray me? I had another spell too. Hmm. I think it was scamp. Maybe I didn't put it on my bar. Conjure scamp. That's a Palmer. This isn't a scamp. Okay. I'll think about using the Daedroth, but uh, I'm definitely not summoning a freaking Falmer. Shut up, dude. Pin leg. Okay. Um, we need to go across at some point. I think we can go up a little bit farther. But we need to cross the mountain because I don't think you can enter Helgen from this angle. We can cross right here. Well, the deer aren't too spooked, so there's probably no wolves around. Crap. I think I lost Marcus. Marcus? Are you coming? Marcus? Uh oh. I lost him! No! Where is he? Oh, there you are. Oh, thank God. Here. Now you're easier to spot. Let's go. Elgin is just up here. Around this bend, and there's the front gates. Don't get lost, Marcus. I know you're in heavy armor, but you can keep up. You're probably not hauling as much crap around as I am. Alright, here we are. Helgen Keep. Let's go inside. Valerius Tiberius.
Miss Octoria, you old dog. Come here, my friend. Let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again. At last. Ah, oh, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry. But whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes. Same here, old friend. Same here. So, the Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it! Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town, and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs, and I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend, and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. Uh, thanks, but you never mentioned rebuilding Helgen until now. Why is that? I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. I just wanted to meet with Valerius <coughs> before I brought it up. But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I could tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank you once again, friend. I'll see you then. I now can't then, Marcus, thank you let's enough. go get that wine. You're in one piece, As agreed, so I trust you your one smoothly. Thanks, you gave yes. it to me already. Fortunately, it was without incident. All right, of let's course, go. I had Patsy. All right, so luckily he wants us to come back in a day or so, which is perfect because we have some important business, some important dragonborn business over in Kynesgrove to take care of. So we hopefully should be able to get over there and come back in a day. And uh, hello, Don Guard guy. What now? Nothing, I was just saying hello. Jeez. But yeah. So I should uh, be able to do that. And then come back. And then investigate this again. Because hopefully Delphine will tell me what the heck is she needs from me. She'll tell me all I need to know. I guess. About the Dragonborn thing. And the blades and all that good stuff. Once I prove to her that I'm actually the Dragonborn. Because she doesn't believe me. She's a little suspicious. For whatever reason. I mean, I don't know. I guess she has every reason. Oh, Jesus criminy, Jim Jim's crap, and oh my god, I'm not going that way. Holy crap. Yeah, we're going this way. <laughs> Screw that. Especially with this dangerous or high level enemies thing installed. They're probably like epic mega spiders. You never know. Oh. Wait, something's wrong. I'll say something's wrong. This man just fell over dead. 
Oh, hi, Thyra. What? Delphine? What the heck just no, happened? You don't want to go up there. A dragon. Uh, it's attacking. It's attacking. Okay, it's attacking Kynesgrove. Where's the dragon? It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Hurry, we might be too late. Okay, Del Delphine, I don't see you. Where are you? Where I can't see anything, dang it. Why does it have to be a blizzard? And why does it have to be nighttime? I guess it's my fault that it's nighttime, but... Where are you, Delphine? Should turn my light off. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Uh. Okay, alright. Delphine? Uh, where, where, where? Okay, do I have the quest? No. Yeah? Where is Delphine? North. Okay, I'm, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay, I need to be up there. Okay. Oh, there's the dragon. Delphine? Uh, I cannot see anything. I cannot... Alderman? Okay. Well, there you are. Uh oh. Oh god. Salukunir. Zeal Kuro Tova Ursa. Take it. It was given to me. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, frost, 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 frost. Thank you, Snowstorm, for not for going away. I appreciate that. Um. All right. No, no. Is it fire? Is it fire? I'm dying! What kind of dragon? What kind of dragon? Fire! 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 Okay. Okay, Delphine? Delphine? Me? Stop standing in the fire, Delphine! Okay, 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 okay. Um, 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 where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, what is it called again? The thing, the, the thing that I have, the thing, the thing. Duh. Can't remember what it's called. Dragon Aspects! Okay. Uh, 
Selfie, I would not recommend tanking a dragon. I wouldn't recommend it. Crap. My voice has been silent for too long. Wayfair still. Alright, Delphi, be careful. You're you're right by his mouth. I can't even tell you how dumb that is. Even Autumn Law dies if she goes right next to the mouth. Delphine! Look! I can't just keep healing you, okay? Alright, I think we got it. I think we got it. We got it. Oh! We did it! That was great. Something's happening. What the Yeah. Hell? I'm about to absorb its soul. Stand back. I'm about to prove you wrong. I told ya. I told you, Delphine. It's true, isn't it? You really are Dragon Boy. Uh huh. I owe you some answers, don't I? Yes, you do. Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. All right. Who are you and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Okay, um, what do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Was he black? He looked kind of gray to me. Um, I think Ruby knows who the blades are. They are of legend, you know, the protectors of the emperor, septims, and stuff like that. So, um, I've seen that dragon before, the one that got away. Oh yeah, Elduin. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helgen when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Hmm. What's our next move then? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Oh, I know who the Thalmor are. Why are the Thalmor after you? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Hmm. What makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Do you really think the Thalmor are that powerful, though, to bring back the dragons? That seems a little far-fetched, Delphine. So we need to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Do you have any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get in? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay. You need some time? That's fine, because I got stuff to do. Anyway, Sar Salokir. Well, 
Another dragon bites the dust at the hands of Ruby the Dragonborn. This time it was harassing Hel uh, Kynesgrove, so... Delphine was right about her pattern of dragon attacks. Delphine, I don't suppose that you know the next one. Because it would be pretty handy for me to know that, um, so I could possibly save a town. But I suppose it just means we'll need to be more on the lookout for dragons attacking. Which is unfortunate, but it is good sort of, because we'll get lots of souls, but <laughs> it's bad. It's more bad, because Is then... That magic away from me? Oh, shut up. I just saved you from a dragon. Is that how you show respect to the dragonborn? But yeah. Okay, and I don't know what happened to this guy. What happened to you, man? Men... Menrig wedded honored. Dead. He just fell over dead as soon as I got here. Weird. Okay. Is there an innkeeper in here? Who are you? Oh, I talked to you before. Are you a mage? Dravenea. Hello? An outsider. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Ooh, can you train me an alteration? I can certainly share a bit of what I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> 60 is good. Thanks. Are you the innkeeper? If it's Malachite you're after, no. so you've come to the right place. Sorry to wake you up. Pay for any you dig up out of Steam Scorch Mine. Um, innkeeper? Innkeeper? I need to rent a room. How can I help you? Hello. Greetings, a fine day to you. Oh, you remind me of someone I know. Uh, it's not a fine day, and I'm insulted you're implying that it is. A fine day to you as well, good sir. May all your days be better than the last. No. Uh, you seem to be in good spirits. Well, not just good spirits, the best. You could punch me in the throat, and I would still be smiling. Really? I uh, would uh, also be a corpse, given how fragile I am. But I would die happy, knowing I helped relieve you of your stress. Um... <laughs> Why the good mood? Actually, I'm not in a good mood, but a normal one. I'm not the type to detour from bliss. My mind is only capable of one type of thinking, the positive kind. Which is why it came as a shock to hear one of my friends accuse me of being, quote, less than courteous to him during a chance meeting in Skyrim. It turns out that he had the displeasure of meeting my doppelganger, though I myself have never been this far north. You have a doppelganger? According to him, the South Mare wore my face as if it were a tunic and summoned my voice as if it were a spell. Only he failed to use them in the manner for which they were crafted. He was rude, salty, and threatened my friend with bodily harm. In other words, he was strong. He was brave. For a sworn coward such as myself, I was rather intrigued at the prospect of meeting such a fellow. Okay, I bet my doppelganger is in a dungeon for the crime of excessive beauty. <laughs> uh, yeah. And by all accounts, she is guilty, if her mirror opposite is any indication. Wait, what? Was that a compliment or a diss? I'm confused. So you find this person and then what? I'd start by asking him about his personal history. See where our paths diverged. If our resemblance is truly as uncanny as my friend proposed, then I'm sure he will be as eager to hear about my life as well. Hmm. I don't really want to talk to you anymore. Till we meet again. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for the interesting story. Ah, uh, innkeeper! Yes, hello. Poor Rogi. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Nordamede. He's good for it. 
I'm not feeling charitable. I need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And what have you got for sale? Take a look. I need food. Dang it. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh. Right which way? This way? Okay. Alright. Time to go to sleep, and then in the morning, back to Falkreath, I guess. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Well, I do need food, but you don't have any... What kind of an inn doesn't have food? Ugh, never mind. Let's get some rest. <laughs>